Okay. Um, we go on now then to the paper on governance issues and the Finance and Procurement Subcommittee. Paul, over Thank to you. you. Um, this is a different end of the spectrum from, from, from the last item. It's a, it's a piece of, uh, of governance requesting the board to set up a, a finance and procurement control subcommittee. Um, this would allow us to, uh, to manage uh, a number of, uh, of efficiency controls that the Department of Health currently uh, manage on behalf of the government would be delegated uh, down to us. We need to set this committee up to, to oversee um, requests for, for consultancy and, and other procurement. Um, so we've uh, suggested a, a working a, a committee group there with, with David as chair. Ed's agreed to, to take part on, on that committee. Um, we probably would need to meet fairly frequently, maybe by teleconference conference weekly and then we then meeting um, monthly altogether. Uh, because often these are requests, uh, and we've heard today, haven't we, the speed with which we need to be working on some of these things. We, we probably couldn't wait a month in order to agree something then to go out to procurement. Um, so we're looking for something that's, uh, that can meet fairly quickly. Uh, we'll report back to the board every time and say this is what it's done on, on, on your behalf. Um, that's, that's the proposal there. And then just to note one item that, that we did do um, before this board meeting uh, and, and actually approved in advance of hopefully the board approving today under chairman's um, delegated uh, powers uh, a, a particular piece of procurement on, on CCG authorization um, which we're not going to go into in, in detail because it's commercial incompetence in terms of the value of that potential tender but the chairman did approve that in advance of the meeting and we've been asked to, to note that. Fine, thank you, Paul. Well, I'll, I'll ask the, uh, the board simply to note that. Uh, and so far as the establishment of the subcommittee is concerned, uh, to approve it and to approve the formal amendments to the ways of working rules. And I think the critical thing is that um, this is not at all detracting from the power of the board. What it is doing is giving us a, a flexible means of working. Uh, in most instances, I would anticipate that the procurement has been already foreshadowed in papers that have come through the board. Mm. Uh, and um, the use of the subcommittee will uh, be to uh, formally approve the procurement but with a report back to a, a future meeting of the board. And it, and it isn't anticipated um, that it's uh, necessarily for the finance approval part of it because national mm -hmm. directors have got the, their budgets as within 12, 13 yeah. and, and it will, will make the presumption that the national director can actually afford that for within their budget. This is much more about mm -hmm. giving the authority to go out and procure. Yes. Are the board happy to approve the paper? Good. Thank you very much. That then brings us to the close of business. The only item of other business that I have is the date of the next meeting, uh, which is to be the 31st of May 2012. Any other business from members of the board? No, in which case, thank you very much. I declare the meeting closed. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs>